so now we will see text effects in css so guys basically we are going to learn various text effects properties in this particular video with the help of examples so let us move to the vs code over here and simply i'm going to remove the previous lines of code that we had written in the html and the style.css files now guys over here simply we are going to have the diff tag in this case and inside the diff tag we are going to have certain randomly generated text so let's say we have just 10 words over here inside this particular div tag so guys in this way we can have the emmet abbreviation that is lorem followed by the number of words that you want to randomly generate so when we press enter as you can see 10 words are randomly generated over here using the lorem emmet abbreviation now guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see this is the simple text that is getting displayed inside the div tag now guys what we are going to do is we will provide certain css properties to this div tag over here so let's say we have the 30 percent as the width for this particular div tag out of the entire width of the screen guys apart from this we will also set the border so let's say we have two pixels of solid border with the black color over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the 30 percent width in this case for this particular div tag and then apart from this the entire sentence is getting displayed in two lines over here now guys one of the important css properties as far as text effect is concerned is to use the white space css property with the value that is no wrap so guys in this case when you want the text to be displayed only on one line you can use this white space css property so guys let us check this so what we are going to do is we are going to say white space css property and this time we are going to set the value as no wrap over here which means the entire content should be displayed on one line so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see the entire content is getting displayed on one line over here with the help of the white space css property which is one of the important properties as far as text effects is concerned in css now guys apart from that if you notice that we have an issue now over here the text is going outside of the border so guys if you remember we have set the width of 30 percent in this case so the border is set over here as you can see on the right hand side and the text is going to the right of this particular border so guys what we can do in order to solve this issue so guys over here we have something called as overflow equal to hidden so guys basically we can use the overflow css property in this case in order to hide the text that is going outside of this particular border so guys let us check that as well so over here what we are going to do is overflow css property is the one that we are going to use and simply we are going to use this value that is hidden in this case so guys let me just save this file now so what this will do is it will hide the content that is going outside of the border of the html element on the right hand side so let me just reload this page once again on the browser so as you can see the content that was going outside of this particular border is now hidden but guys as you can see we can still see that some word is continuing over here which which gives a sense of incompleteness so guys over here we have another css property that we can use so we have something called as text overflow for which the default value is the clip value so guys let us check this as well so when we use text overflow property as you can see we have the list of values which includes clip value and the ellipses value so let us first check the clip value over here let me just save this file now and this is the default value that was set and that is why we won't see any change over here right now so let me reload this page once again on the browser so there is no change that is getting reflected over over here right now but guys the other value that we have apart from the click value is the ellipses value over here so let us check that as well what will happen so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have these three dots now getting displayed over here which is due to this ellipses value for the text overflow css property so guys in this way if you want to show the user that there is certain text after this particular border but you want to restrict that text before that border so basically you can use this ellipses value for the text overflow property and guys apart from this you can also display the remaining text on over so what we have to do is we need to change the overflow property to visible
particular value when the user gets the mouse on that particular dev tag so guys let us check that as well what we want to do is when the text overflow property is set to ellipses that we have done in this particular case and when the user gets the cursor on this particular dev tag we want the remaining text to be displayed outside of this particular border so guys let us check that as well what we have to do is simply we will define the div tag followed by the pseudo class that is hover in this case and then guys whatever css property that we apply over here will get implemented when the user gets the cursor on this particular div tag so what we want to do is we want to change the overflow css property to visible in this case so basically when we change the overflow property to visible then the remaining text that we had hidden by using this particular overflow property will be now visible so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser notice that by default we don't have any text that is getting displayed after this particular border but when user gets the cursor on this div tag as you can see the remaining text is now getting displayed over here and when the user takes away the cursor from the div tag the remaining text is getting hidden with the help of overflow equal to hidden and text overflow equal to ellipses values so guys in this way you can use the different text effects CSS properties that we have discussed so far. Apart from this, we also have something called as word wrap over here, which can be set to break word when there is a very large word which is going outside of the border. So, guys, let us check that as well. So, what we want to do is I'll simply remove these CSS properties and simply we are going to see the default behavior of the div tag, which is having the width of 30% and the border as two pixels with the color black. So, guys, let me just reload this page once again. So, as you can see see this is the div tag that is getting displayed over here now guys let us say this particular word is very long and while displaying it on the browser it is going outside of the border so guys what we have to do is simply i am going to provide certain letters after this particular word over here so we are going to append certain random letters in this case so guys basically this is a very long word that is appearing over here which is longer than the width of the div element so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so notice that by default the browser will try to get the words on the next line if we have the limited width that is provided to the html element but guys in this case when a specific word is very long and it is going outside of the border of the html element then in that case what we have to do is simply we can use the word wrap css property so guys over here inside the style.css file simply we are going to say word wrap css property and we will say break word so guys what this particular value will do is it will break the word which is very long over here that is going outside of the border and continue that word on the next line in such a way that the entire content should be within this particular width of the html element so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see the remaining letters inside this word is shifted to the next line over here in such a way that the content of this div tag is within the border of this particular html element so guys in this way you can use the different css properties as far as the text effects are concerned in css during your project implementation so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is 2d transform property in css so stay tuned